Happy New Year 2020 to all you beautiful people. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas celebration. And here is me wishing you an amazing year ahead. This is my first video for this year. And I want to talk about the amazing Olympus Mzuko 60mm f2.8 macro lens. I have been using this lens for so many years now. I've reviewed the lens even before it was released in the market. I have tested the Olympus 16mm in the new camera bodies and the sample images were used in my review articles and even in my YouTube videos recently. I love to shoot inside macro. I've been shooting inside macro for more than 10 years now. I'm not exactly an expert when it comes to inside macro, but I am learning and improving every time I go out and shoot. But I must say that if you use macro four thirds, if you use Olympus cameras or Panasonic cameras, and if you are doing inside macro photography, currently there is no better lens for you to use than the Olympus M Zuiko 60mm macro. I have shared my experience and my techniques in inside macro shooting. Please check out the video here, which I have done a few months ago. In this video, I want to explore what makes the Olympus 60mm macro such an amazing lens for inside photography. Let's get started. Reason number one, the extreme 2 to 1 magnification. When we use the Olympus 60mm macro, the maximum possible magnification that can be achieved is equivalent to two times the true 100% size. The minimum qualification for a true macro lens is to be able to do one-to-one -one magnification. And this is true for most macro lenses out there. But for the Olympus 16mm, you can go to equivalent two times magnification. And this by itself opens up a lot of opportunities to get an incredible shot, even without adding additional filters or extension tubes or any other additional means to gain magnification. I don't normally shoot insects that are extremely tiny. Most of the bugs and the insects that I shoot, the 16mm Olympus is sufficient to achieve the magnification that I needed for my macro shots. Reason number two, image quality. The Olympus 16mm macro is an extremely sharp lens and the technical flaws of the lens are very, very well controlled. The 60mm macro can resolve incredible amount of fine details and micro contrast in an image. Every single time I nail my shot that is in perfectly critical, accurate focus, the images just look amazing. It's mind blowing. Don't take my word for it. Ming Tian, a fellow photographer from Malaysia, has also reviewed the Olympus 60mm lens and he has compared that against other macro lenses that he has such as the Nikon, Zeiss, and even a Panasonic macro lens. I'm not going to spoil it to you. You may check out in the link below. I'll put it in the descriptions to his article where he compares all these lenses. You will see which lens is the clear winner. I'm not joking when I talk about the amazing macro lens from Olympus. There's virtually no distortion. The chromatic aberration is very, very well controlled. It is sharp corner to corner, even at f2.8. And the lens just performs incredibly well in any situation. It is a lens that is optimized for close-up shooting. It is optimized for macro work. And I honestly think that for micro four thirds, this is the best lens that you can have if you're serious about macro photography. Reason number three, working distance. Because it's a 16mm on Olympus, equivalent on a 35mm full frame format, it is a 120mm lens. You don't have to get too close to the subject to achieve a high magnification shot. The minimum working distance is about 19 centimeters, and that itself is very useful if you don't want to spook or scare the insects that you are trying to shoot away. There are other options available for micro four thirds, such as the Olympus 30mm f3.5 or the Panasonic 45mm f2.8. These are very good macro lenses. However, the minimum focusing distance are much, much closer to achieve the high magnification in your images. Furthermore, the longer focal length at 120mm allows a very tight compression, meaning that we can isolate the subject much better, ignoring a large portion of the background which can appear messy in the framing. I seldom come across a problem where I get too close to the subject and the insects or spiders or any kind of little creatures will run away from me. An important tip that I can share if you're doing insect macro, don't use the lens hood 
take off the lens hood because if you add on the lens hood on a macro lens, it will decrease the distance between your lens and the tiny creature. And some of the tiny creatures are very, very sensitive to movements or any other objects that appear nearer to them. Reason number four. When you use the Olympus 16mm macro on any Olympus OMD cameras, you enjoy the full benefit of the Olympus OMD system. Such benefits include the amazing 5-axis image stabilization. To me, not only that the 5-axis IS helped me to stabilize my shot, making sure that I don't get blurry images while I handhold all my images, but while we compose the images through the viewfinder, that view will be fully stabilized when we half press the shutter button. That smooth, stabilized viewfinder shot is a godsend when we are shooting a high magnification shot because without the powerful stabilization, that preview will be extremely shaky and I'm sure we will get headaches and nauseas after a long shooting duration. The 5 6 is not only boosts the confidence of getting the shot, but improves the overall shooting experience, making it a lot more pleasant and less stressful when we try to nail that critical focus. Besides 5-axis image stabilization, we also have focus stacking built into the OMD cameras where the camera will take multiple shots and stack them together to maximize the depth of field. I admit that I seldom use the focus stacking feature because it doesn't work for my style of shooting. I don't use tripods and I just capture one single raw image and to me, that's more than sufficient for most of the insect macro photography that I do. Finally, reason number five, autofocus. The Olympus 16mm macro has incredible autofocus. Out of many macro lenses out there, we're just talking about macro lenses. If you have truly used the Olympus 16mm macro lens before, you will know how much more reliable, faster and efficient the autofocus is. And this is also true for both Olympus and Panasonic cameras. There is a focus limiter allowing to limit the range of your focal distance. Either you shoot something that's extremely close up or a subject is far away, or you want to have a shortcut to go to full magnification. By properly setting up the focus limiter for your subject when you shoot, it makes the autofocus that much faster and a lot easier to nail your shot. I started out macro photography not using the Olympus 60mm lens, I was using the all 50mm f2 Zuiko DSLR lens. And in that lens, the autofocus was so slow and so unreliable that most of the time I was using manual focus. Since I've acquired the Olympus 60mm f2.8 macro, almost all my inset macro shots were taken purely with the autofocus on the Olympus OMD camera. Not having to worry too much about autofocus allows me to focus more on lighting and how to improve my composition when I approach the tiny creatures. There you go my five reasons why I think the Olympus 16mm f2.8 macro lens is the near perfect macro lens. It is definitely the best lens for inside macro photography if you are using a micro folded system now. And if you have been using the lens for a while now, please share your experience with me and let me know what you think in the comments below. I would definitely love to hear from you. I hope you have enjoyed the macro photographs that I've shared in this particular video. And I hope you found my sharing useful. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I will definitely make more videos like this in the future. This is the start of the new year. So please remember to go out and take more photographs. And I hope that you have an amazing photography journey ahead. Bye-bye.